How's it going, everybody? My name is Rovana. Welcome to part 33 of Let's Play Oblivion. We are finishing up the Mage's Guild, and like I said in the last episode, I'm trying to do that quickly because I really want to do what we're going to be doing next as quickly as, as soon as possible. And I know you guys are going to want to see that as soon as possible, too, because it's the thing that I've been looking forward to most since I started this Let's Play. And uh, we'll find out what that is pretty soon. Anyways, right now we are in Bloodcrust Cavern, and uh, here we go. Information at a price. Count has the door is information that he will provide only if I remove the vampire hunters lurking around Skingrad as well as a nest of vampires in Bloodcrest Cavern outside of town. That's where we are right now. And if you remember, I lured the vampire hunters themselves in here um, with the information that there was a vampire nest. Here's one vampire that we've killed. And uh, so now we're going to see basically if any of them survived. And if they did, we need to take huh? them out as well. But it looks like, from what I can see, that the vampires are the only one that have survived here. I don't think they would both be alive at the same time. Okay. So we have another vampire here who just has a bunch of random stuff. And I think I heard someone else to the right over here. Yep. Uh, no arrows. Actually, we just got a new bow. So let's go ahead and equip that. The blizzard bow and also some flare arrows. And that should kill this guy in one hit, even though I didn't get to fully charge the bow. The vampires in Bloodcrest Cavern have been disposed of. Now I must deal with the vampire hunters. Okay, so I guess they are still alive. Weird. So there's only three vampires. I'm not sure what changed about telling the vampire hunters to come in here. What I think happened is it decreased the amount of vampires that we had to fight. So now we have to kill all these guys. I'm not sure if they would immediately aggro... Oh, yeah. Okay, so they're all leaving right now. So we're going to take this chance to kill Eridor. Just like that. What do you have, my friend? Just a steel battle axe and... 10 gold. Now, hopefully we'll be able to catch up with these guys. I don't think it automatically teleports them to, like, skin grad, But, uh, yeah, okay. So we're just going to have one big battle. But we're going to get one sneak shot off first because we can't. Are all three of these people targets? Yeah, they are. All right. So now it's a 2v1. Although I guess 2v2 because we have our trusty steed Shadowmere over here to help us out. The vampire hunters in Skingrad have been killed. And also, Shadowmere does a ton more damage than I thought he was going to do. Okay, so let's search this guy. It's always good to take vampire dust, I guess, even though I've been skipping it. Oh, I didn't, oh, I didn't mean to take either of those things. We're gonna ha we're I'm gonna go ahead and drop this because it doesn't serve any purpose for me right now. I'm also going to drop that and that and we also picked up a shield, right? Some crappy shield that I don't want. So there you are. All right. I hate when I kill people in these like fields because it's so hard to find their bodies to loot. I already searched that guy. Did not search this person. Just five gold and there's one more person. That I'm just going to completely bypass because I don't care. Okay, the vampire hunters and Skingrad have been killed, and now we need to return to Count Hasseldor. Okay, so it looks like we need to talk to Hal again. You have completed your tasks for the Count, have you not? Then, please, wait here while I inform him. Ah, don't do this to me again. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and wait an hour then to go ahead and skip all the waiting. I'm going to wait to skip the wait. <laughs> okay. So now hopefully if we go upstairs, uh, Count Hassador will be right behind. Why? Where is it telling me to go? You have completed your t Okay, uh, looks like we're going to have to do this a long way. Let's go ahead and follow Hal. Hopefully the Count is not that far off. Because it looked like waiting did not do anything at all. You can also use this time to uh, get our restoration up just a tad bit. No, don't go through another section. Oh, God. Where are you going? Going in here? What's this place? Lord's Manor. So I guess he's right through that door. Alright, well, hurry up. Not a lot of things to talk about when you're waiting for a count to appear. We can check the pillars, though, for secret entrances. Like I told you guys, a lot of the, uh, the movable pillars, or a lot of the pillars in Oblivion have, like, secret sections. But I'm not sure if there are any in Skingrad, or if there are, they're not going to be, like, right here out in the open. I'm not sure which castles have them, but I know there are a lot. Alright, come on. I'm going to go ahead and wait an hour again, see if that changes anything. Loading screen is good. 
And they're still in there. Oh, but it looks like they're coming out of here now. Or a something. little bird told me that you've been asking around town about Glarther, a resident eccentric. I'd like to know why. Oh my god, stop in <laughs> stop infusing the quest I'm doing with this stupid quest. Yeah, this is not anything to do with the Mage's Guild. Again, this is that quest paranoia. Um Uh none of your business. It is my business. Allow me to introduce myself, Captain Dion of the Count's Guard, at your service. Now, you are telling me why you're interested in Glarther? I'm not! Uh, just curious about him. Fine. Play it that way. Let me give you some friendly advice. Glarther is crazy. Maybe harmless crazy. Maybe not. Don't get involved with him. If he asks you to do anything strange, you come see me first. Got it? Or any of the town guard. Let us handle it. Alright, man. That's fine, but I'm in the middle of something with the Mage's Guild here. So that quest is very interesting, though, and I hate how it keeps trying to get me to do it constantly with all these little interactions. Uh, but we will do it eventually. Alright, what's going on? Come on, get out of here. Uh... Going to wait a... You know what? I'm just going to you know skip to the part of the video where uh, we finally get to talk to this guy. So I will see you guys in a second. So the work is complete. Now we can discuss the information I have for you. Okay, information. Your guild does not fully appreciate the danger which quickly approaches. Hopefully when you return to them, their eyes will be opened. The necromancers are a sign of things to come. An old acquaintance of the guild has come to Cyrodiil, and they are answering his call. While I do not know for quite what purpose he has arrived, I believe the Guild of Mages is in great danger. Mana Marco has returned. Nearly invincible, he has established himself somewhere in the north of Cyrodiil. This is all that I know. See to it that your leader, Traven, learns this as soon as possible. I have no love for your guild, but I have no wish to see it destroyed either. Okay, so, apparently... A very powerful necromancer named Manny Marco has arrived, and he is a big enemy of the Mage's Guild. Now what's interesting is Manny Marco actually has a lot to do with the plot of the Elder Scrolls Online, which is coming out, you know, in like uh, three months. And yes, of course, there will be a lot of Elder Scrolls Online on my channel. Everyone keeps asking me. I guess they keep missing when I keep saying, yeah, of course I'm going to be doing Elder Scrolls Online videos. But yeah, he's, uh, he's actually a powerful necromancer that can have a much longer lifespan than most people because of it, I guess. And that's why he's um, in the Elder Scrolls Online as well, which takes place like way earlier earlier than the time frame that we're in right now. Okay, so let's go inform Hannibal of this guy's arrival. And hopefully he'll be able to give us some insight as to what to do about it. Alright, so I think the reason we got accosted by a, uh, a guard the last time was because we went into here when it says we can't. So I'm going to wait till a more, you know, a better time. And that's going to be 12 hours. Alright, hopefully. It's still legal to go in there, but Fine. there's Hannibal right there. What news from Skingrad? I assume you've spoken to Count Hasseldor? Oh, you're not gonna have that smile on your face for much longer, my friend, Manny Marco. What? Is that possible? This is grave news indeed. I had, perhaps foolishly, believed that necromancy was all but stamped out in Cyrodiil. It seems I couldn't have been more mistaken. I shall need to consult the Council as to how to proceed with this situation. Thank you for the information. It may save many lives. No problem, Bob. Uh, what do we need to do now? My attention is focused on the Council right now. I will need you soon enough. I need more time. Okay. I guess that is our cue to wait another 24 hours. Alright. Uh, we've waited 24 hours. There's Hannibal. Let's see if he has anything My to say. My attention is focused on the Council right now. No. So, I'm not sure what's supposed to happen now to let us continue on in the Mage's Guild. Let's see if Raminus has anything to say. Pleasure to speak with you. Uh, tasks? Your tasks now come directly from Archmage Traven. Please speak with him if you're unsure what you should be doing. Well, I did, and he's not giving me much help. 
The only thing I can think to do is wait another 24 hours. Okay, um, still nothing it would seem. Let's go into the chambers. Welcome. If you wish to talk. Hey! The council is in complete disarray at the news of Manny Marco's presence in Cyrodiil. The King of Worms has obviously targeted the guild, but we have no idea why. No demands have been made. All of my attention is devoted to the council. We must discern the reason for this sudden attack and stop Manny Marco before he destroys us all. I am unable to look into something that has been brought to my attention. Are you capable of going on my behalf? I can go now. Good. Please go to Bruma. I have not heard from Jean Frasoric for a few days now, which is unusual for her. While I welcome the break from correspondence with her, I worry that something may be amiss given recent developments. Find out if Jean is all right, and let me know if she needs anything. Okay, so if you guys remember, Jean was the leader of the Bruma Mages Guild, obviously, and also we stole from her uh, in order to get our recommendation. How ironic is that? Um, and we need to go there and check on her. And uh, I'm assuming that's in Bruma. Yep. Let's go ahead and go there. All right. We are in the beautiful town of Bruma. Let us head to the Mages Guild and see if everything's all right. I mean, it should be, right? Okay. Bruma Mages Guild. I've arrived at the Bruma Mages Guild. It appears to have been attacked. I should look for survivors. And right there's a dead... Oh, my God. A wrath or a wraith or something. It's called wraiths, right? Frost damage resisted. That's not good. Oh, my God. There are just a ton in here. And now I can't move. What in the world is going on? They hit me with a burden spell. Those sons of bitches. Uh, that is a cue for me to put on the gray cow. And also... Let us equip the Akaviri Katana. Will that hurt them? No. I don't know why I expected it to. Okay. Oh man, they're taking no damage from that at all. Alright, let's take out this one at least with the Blade of Well. Did you die or? No. Die, please. Wow, these guys are a lot tougher than I remembered, that's for sure. We're about to die here, we need to use a potion. Let's go ahead and use a strong potion of healing. There we go. How do you feel about... Wow. Yeah, these guys are these guys are tough. Okay, how do you feel about a fireball? Oh, we can't use it. We're currently silenced. Wonderful, wonderful news. The one time I do actually want to... Oh, man, I'm almost about to die again. Okay, let's use a couple of these. Let's take out this guy who's almost dead. There you go. And... Faded rates are what these guys are called. Let's see how much damage they take from a fireball. Not much at all. Stop hitting me, man. I'm trying so hard to dodge your stuff. Alright, come on. No, no, no. No, stop. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So this is pretty much the first time I'm actually having difficulty in, with killing things so far in this let's play. Ah, but we did it, okay. Now, because we have the Grey Cow, there's still a bunch of stuff. There's something over there. There's something up there. There's someone up there. Um, and that's Selena Oriana. That's not good. Already a dead body. Um, we also need to heal a little bit more here. What? Whoa. Who said that? Let us go upstairs really quickly. Oh, no. Volinaro died, too. Looks like Karma was a bitch. Okay, where the hell do we need to go? Upstairs, obviously, but uh, the only path that's open is downstairs, so I guess that's where we're going. Oh no, not more of these guys. Come on. Okay. We need to be smart about how we take these guys out. I'm thinking the Goblin Staff. Or does it not do anything at all? No, it doesn't. Oh. Okay. Um. Hmm. Don't have much in terms of weapons here. But let's go with the blizzard bow and some steel arrows. Okay, that does a nice chunk. 
we're out of steel arrows. Let's equip silver arrows. Oh my god. Right, let's take this guy out really quickly. Now we're down to our iron arrows. Actually, elven are going to do a little bit more. Alright guys, bottleneck for me out here. Oh my god, why are there so many? Are you kidding me right now? I'm not even sure we can do this. Yeah, in fact, I don't think we can at all. Uh, my god, my god. Okay, let's get out of there. Let's, uh... Let's heal up a little bit. Oh, we're currently silenced, of course. Is there absolutely no way to go upstairs other than freaking going through the bottom? Oh, they followed me. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you, God, for dying. Um, I'm also going to take that and see if that does any damage to these guys. Looks like we definitely have to go through the living quarters here. Just gonna have to hit these guys with arrows as much as possible while simultaneously dodging their okay their spells we are out of elven arrows now down to the nitty-gritty here oh my god, oh my god. Are you joking right now hopefully yeah like one will follow instead of all of them and then we'll just be able to take out like one by one that's the only way I can see this happening oh but more are coming through awesome I don't remember this ever being that hard. I mean, usually I play on lower difficulty, so it probably wouldn't be hard at all. But we're not that high of a difficulty here. This is weird. Alright. Come on. Oh, man. Okay. Do you guys even have anything of worth? No, not really. Let's use all of our magic to heal up really quickly. We still have quite a lot of wraiths to go, but at least... This should be increasing our skills somewhat fast? I don't know. We're only really using... Um... Bows here. Alright, so we've got like three more it looks like. This one's at full health, so we should not shoot him. One of these guys is really low. But I can't get a good shot on him because they're all just bunching up. Alright, I think that was one dead. No, he's still alive. Looks like they're healing as well. Which sucks. Okay, there's one down. This one's almost dead, too. And die, please. Alright, one more. Let's go ahead and use the Dwarven Short Sword. See if that does anything. No, it doesn't. Okay, um... We'll go with the Blizzard Bow again, then. So it looks like there's two separate detect life things going on. One for the weapon and one for the wraith itself. That's really weird. Alright. Jesus Christ. That was a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. Um, okay. Let's just take a quick look throughout all these rooms. And we can't go in there. Alright, so it looks like... This let us head to the other side, which was blocked by that, uh, whatever that thing is that's broken. Come out! Come out wherever you are! Uh, Camilla Lalia. What have we here? A visitor. I'm afraid you've missed the party. The guest of honor has already left. You won't be leaving, though. I'll see to that now. Oh, come on. I just fought through, like, eight wraiths. Oh, I thought she was going to run up and do unarmed or something. And... Wow. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, are they... Are they gone? I was too afraid. I just couldn't move. I could hear the screaming, but I just couldn't move. He killed them all. Just... Slaughtered them. I... I saw his face. I saw the king of worms. This so looks like Manny Marco was here, and that's the cause of all this destruction. King of worms. I couldn't believe my eyes. I think the only reason I'm alive is because I was invisible. But even so, I think he saw me. He killed them, one by one. Volonaro was last, I think. He was trying to run away, but he didn't make it, did he? No. The King of Worms stood over him right before he died. And he, well, it looked like he sucked out Volonaro's soul. He said something about Echo Cave and destroying the Mage's Guild. 
Then he looked right at me and grinned. You've got to do something. You've got to tell Archmage Traven. All right. Uh, hope you're going to be okay here, buddy. It's not safe. And not here. too traumatized. Um. So here we have Jean, which is a very sad thing indeed. And we also have 50 gold from this woman here. And I think we're done. What is that? Oh, okay. That's uh, just Scar. For a second, I thought that was another Wraith. I'm about to sneeze. Is it coming? I don't know. Maybe it's not. Okay. No, I think I'm good. All right. So we need to go tell Hannibal that the Bruma Mage's Guild has apparently been obliterated by Man and Marco himself. And I think the next quest is the last quest. Oh, God. We are wearing the Cal of Nocturnal. I just realized we need to go ahead and equip uh, the hood. There we go. And now guards are probably going to be rushing over. There Evening, you are. Sir. Evening. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not the Gray Fox, Enough. so bye-bye. Okay. We need to go now to warn Traven. Let's go do that. Alrighty. Looks like Traven is in the lobby, but probably he's going to be upstairs in the section that we can't go into. So I will most likely have to wait. But let's just check before we do anything hasty now. Uh, yeah, it's just Please, your love, Gerald, who I'm always tired of seeing. We always seem to arrive at places between 1 and 3 a.m. It's just like, never changes. Okay, let's wait 12 hours. Any word from Jean in Bruma? Um, no, because she's actually dead. He was the only one left? This is worse than I thought. From what he's told you, Manny Marco, the King of Worms, is here in Cyrodiil and preying on our guild. This is something I'd never have dreamed. We'll need a few days to digest this new information. Should Jaskar arrive here, we'll see to it that he's well taken care of. Thank you. Okay. Um, do we not have a quest now? No, we don't. Um, so let's talk to this Before guy. Before we continue, you should speak to Raminus Polis about your advancement within the guild. Okay, so we get yet another advancement. Not sure how much higher we can go. I think one more rank, and then we will reach the top. Let's talk to Raminus. Well met. Advancement. Truly, you are an asset to the guild. I reward you with the rank of wizard and teach you a most powerful spell. And what is that? Good Wizard's day. Fury added. Let's take a look at that spell. Wizard's Fury. Fire damage 3 points for 7 seconds. Frost damage 13 points on target. Shock damage 13 points. So it's sort of like a, a tri-attack, you know, from Pokemon. Um, and we can't use it at all because we don't have a destruction skill of 25, which is one of the sad things about not being well-versed in magic at all. Now let's go talk to Traven again. At the worst possible time, the council is in ruins. A course of action could not be agreed upon. Some felt that we are in danger of being exterminated and that it is time to fight back. Others felt it appropriate to fight fire with fire, as it were. The council has shattered, and artifacts have been lost. The necromancer's amulet and the bloodworm helm have been taken. Okay, I'm totally forgetting about this bloodworm helm. A group of mages led by Earl of Jarol took the helm and have retreated to Fort Teleman in an effort to study it further. They hope to learn enough from it to find some way to fight Manny Marco. I tried to dissuade them, but it was no use. I would like the helm returned, so that it may be kept safe here in the university. I fear Erlaf has made himself a target for the necromancers. Oh, okay, so I remember this. So yeah, the council split up and decided to do different courses of action. Okay, so that's the Bloodworm Helm. How about the necromancer's amulet? Karanya insisted on removing it from the university. She said it posed a threat to the safety of the Imperial City. While I do not doubt that she was right, I question whether her motives were genuine. She seemed all too eager to explore its power. I fear she is not safe from the minions of the King of Worms. She is at Fort Antus. Please go there and return with the amulet. Help her to see that she should not use the weapons of the enemy, especially out of fear. Okay, so we've been given two quests here. I guess we can go on a branching path and choose which one we want to do. The Necromancer's Amulet and the Bloodworm Helm, both of these quests require us to go to a place and get back an artifact from our allies. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with the Bloodworm Helm, just because that sounds a little bit more interesting. So it looks like we need to go to wherever Erlov Jarl is held up and uh, retrieve the crown that he took, the Bloodworm Helm, or the Helm. I need to travel to Fort Teleman and retrieve the Bloodworm Helm so that it may be kept safe at the Arcane University. And Fort Teleman is going to be all the way out here by the Nibane Bay. 
right? Yes, the Nibine Valley. And uh, let's go ahead and travel to the Drunken Dragon. All right, folks, as per usual, I'm going to jump on my horse here, and then we are going to head over to where we need to go. And I'll see you guys in a second. Alrighty, folks, this looks like the fort right up ahead here. Let's see if there is any fights or anything going on outside. It doesn't look like it. And over there is another Oblivion Gate. So as you can see, once you start the main quest, there's really no shortage of different Oblivion Gates you can enter. Okay. So this isn't a good sign. Right, out, right, at, right off the bat, we have a, a Necromancer here. And that's not good considering this place was supposed to be safe from uh, any threats such as these. Alright, can you stop moving like crazy? Okay. What do you have, buddy? Take those back. And yeah. Alright, are there any more bad guys out here? Just a skeleton. Okay. Come on, Chad. You can take them out. You don't need my help. I also hear the faint ring of a Nurn root, so we're gonna go ahead and find that. How does a skeleton archer only have like three arrows? Are you joking me? You, are you joking me? Are you kidding me? Silver bow, not that cool. There is a Nurn root, great. And let's head on inside. Where hopefully everyone's safe. I've arrived at Fort Telemann. I need to find Erlov Gerald, who should have the Bloodworm Helm. Okay. So this isn't good. This is already very creepy and there are necromancer banners and things. This guy is most definitely evil. So we're going to go ahead and dispatch him from afar. And there's also a person trying to hide from me over there, but I see you. I see you. You can have an arrow too. And I think that's it for this room. We've got some sort of disgusting shrine to the occult here, the Book of the Daedra. So it looks like to me that these necromancers have taken over this seemingly safe place, but obviously it's not safe anymore. Command Humanoid Tome, okay. Let's go ahead and read all of these books that we've acquired. I think there are a couple that I haven't used actually. Yes, drop you, and are there any more? Restore Endurance, yes. And there's one more, I think. Weakness to Shock. Probably not going to have much use for any of those, but nevertheless, I like to be complete in the items that I have. Alright, you're going to get headshot. Ah! Hate it when they don't have my arrows, because that means we are slowly losing arrows. Anything down there? Yep, definitely a path. Alright, you get an arrow. And... You get an arrow. Yeah, that's right. Eagle Eye. Okay. Give me back my arrow, though, and let's head down here. This ominous pit. Why would you ever come here with a priceless Mage Guild artifact? Why? It's just like asking people to come in and take it over and kill you. Okay. Do you have my arrow back? Yes, you do. Thank you. That was a close one. We're not getting detected as easily as easily have, as we have been getting detected, so that's good. Greaves of Deep Dweller resist fire 20% on itself. Not that good. Okay, so far so good. Uh, I don't even think we've been in combat once yet in here. I think we've been able to dispatch them all from afar silently. Thought we were in the starting room for a second in here, but no, this is a different room. Is there anybody in here? Doesn't look like it. That's odd. And there's also an old wooden door to the Fort Element Order of the Black Rose. That sounds very interesting, but we're going to find out what's behind this door on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are looking forward to the next one. My name is Grovana. Have a great day. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed watching that video. If you did, please consider leaving a like. Also, if you'd like to subscribe and or watch a video that's probably going to be related to the one that you just watched, you can click the annotations on the screen. Finally, if you want to help me grow my channel, you can also share this video on Facebook and Twitter by clicking share below the video. Regardless, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.